What's going on guys, JJ Yankee here, and welcome back to another video, and in this video I'm going to be talking to you guys about CPU temperatures, GPU temperatures, and fan speeds, stuff like that, and checking your voltages, stuff like that. So, first of all, we're going to be talking about CPU, so this will include CPU temperatures, monitoring them, it'll also include changing fan speeds for GPU and CPU, so it's basically everything. So I'm going to start with CPU since... I'm going to say that's kind of a harder one to monitor and stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is get something called SpeedFan. So go ahead and open up your browser and then go to this link. I'll have all these links in the description. And then click download. And then you can go ahead and download SpeedFan right there. Go ahead and just download it. Uh, it's free. All this, All these stuff is free. So once you download that, you can go ahead and open it up. <clears throat> It'll look something like this. Okay, so once it's all loaded up. Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> Sorry, this is taking a while. Okay, it'll pop up that hint. And now you'll see all your fans. These are fan speeds. All these correspond to a different fan in your motherboard. So, yeah, so you're going to need to go to here. Click on configure. Over here, you're going to go to the advanced tab. And then chip, you're going to select it down. Now, don't pick your, uh, you're going to want to pick the one that says SM bus, not anything else. So, just go ahead and click on it, and then PVM1 is the CPU temp. So, you want to click on it, and then go down here, and then change it to manually, if you want it manually. Click OK, and my fan just turned extremely loud, and you can configure it right here. So, I'm not going to... I'm going to switch it back to not this controlled because I would recommend going auto on CPU temp. That's what I recommend for you guys. So that's how you can do this. You can do this with all your fans and it will show the RPMs and stuff. So that's how you do the span speeds for the CPU. Okay. Next up is going to be monitoring your CPU temperatures. So I have, as you can see right here, I have a whatever you call it, a gadget and this it shows all my core temps which this one works just fine just search CPU monitor but here's one that's more accurate um, it's called real temp again it just is right here real temp you just click on download real temp and then click on real temp there it's this one doesn't even need an install I don't think so just go ahead and download that and when you open it it'll look you'll have to extract the file and then it will look like this click on this one or this one it doesn't really matter and once you have it opened up it'll look something like this now these numbers will show your core temperatures for your CPU now if you're wondering what's good and bad for a CPU I wouldn't let it go anywhere past 85 that's where it's getting into danger zone anything under 80 is pretty safe I'd say but watch it if it's getting to high 70s I would get maybe get check something out on that so yeah this will show, if it gets to the TJ Max, it'll shut down your computer. There's some sensor tests, which basically makes all your CPU usage go to 100%. And then you can monitor your uh, stuff over here, like how high your CPUs get. And it will record the maximum and the minimum temperature. So if you're wondering, and you don't have to monitor it the whole time. There's a bunch of little settings over here. So you can set the TJ Max so it'll shut down at 60, which I wouldn't recommend doing it. You can change it to Fahrenheit. But, yeah, so that's real temp which is a good program and if you have an AMD this this one only works for Intel processors if you have an AMD one you're gonna wanna download something on the internet called core temp it's the exact same thing pretty much kind of if you see it'll read your TJ Maxx and then your core numbers and then minimum and maximum and then your load is just how much that CPU is working so core temp if you have AMD get real temp if you have uh, AMD so next one is gonna be GPU stuff and actually yeah I'll just do GPU so for GPU you're gonna wanna get MSI afterburner now this one will re real require a down an install but just go to their website and then download MSI afterburner install it I'm not gonna go through that it's pretty self-explanatory so once you have that you wanna open it up and it'll open up here something like this so 
over here it'll show your fan speed you can overclock it with this I'm not exactly sure how to do that so if you're looking to do that look up a different video but over here you're gonna want to click on settings this is for your GPU fan click on the fan and now what you have here is kind of a graph now on the bottom it'll show the temperature in Celsius so let's say you want to change your fan speed if it gets to 50 degrees Celsius you can change how far 50 degrees how fast the fan is going at that temperature and obviously if it gets to 100 degrees Celsius I'll have my fan at a hundred percent so you want to customize this to your ability um, the graphs are fan speed and then temperature and you just drag these sliders for however you want and then click OK apply I'm not going to do that because I have it set up how I want and then make sure auto is checked because this will automatically go to the place that it is at so yeah and it will also show your temperatures if you just go ahead and go to settings monitoring and then if you go to like GPU 1 I have two GPUs if you just click on this and then go to um, show in tray icon I believe no yeah I don't know it's one of those and then it will here as you can see it will appear on the bottom GPU 1 temperatures at 40 degrees Celsius now GPUs it's just about the same thing I won't let it go past 90 under like 80 is pretty safe so I won't be worried about that and if it's not just look up videos like it's probably your heat sink stuff like that so that's how to like change your speed there and another way to monitor your speeds here um, have I covered everything yep another way to monitor is just go to the internet and just type in GPU I'll show you right now just type in GPU meter something like that and then it'll show you a bunch of little gadgets that you can get to read your GPU so that's how I did it and then as you can see it'll show this just download that and then right click go to gadgets and then add the gadget and then you can monitor it here what I do is I just kind of look at real temp and then it will show the maximum it's getting to and kind of keep an eye on it and stuff like that so I hope this video helped you and hopefully you guys can monitor all your stuff now if you if this video helped you hit that like button share this with your friends thanks for watching guys see you guys in the next video bye